And uh, user have a templating system. It's quite easy to manage and uh, it's separate in a very clear view. And uh, all the website routing, like you want to route to which page and do the uh, um, routing to the like 404 page and all that, you can all configure all the uh, configuration files. And you also can do a SEO friendly URL, such as usually you see L with article with a number at the back, when you can use a configuration file to custom the URL. And uh, you can use Symfony to develop your software in or application in development uh, environment. I will show you how what is development environment, which means you can see a lot of details and errors and what library is used and all that. And from the uh, development environment, you can analyze your database query and also based on the login, you can see what is running and what is not running. And this is for troubleshooting as well. And there are a lot of plugins uh, available for symphonies. Uh, people like to use the Ajax Enable plugins. Like you can use the jQuery, Dojo, or Yahoo user interface libraries. And you, you can even use your own plugin and share with the community. And, or you can reuse your plugin after that. And all the validation is uh, quite simple to, to, to do because uh, you don't have to write a lot of code like to validate the email address, the input and all that. You can use it. Why now file to do the validation? And it also supports some cool stuff like autocomplete. And the example is the just one tag, you determine that the one is autocomplete form and the draggable element is we can which you can drop, drop and drag and drop the element and all that. So are you guys ready for the demo? It's only the fifteen minutes demo. Okay, I will use, uh, as I mentioned, my topic, uh, do a simple uh, address book. Uh, be before we're going to do the address book, right, so we create, I uh, will use a shortcut to create a database schema over here. Okay, um, let's start with uh, creating a table. Can you guys see that? So we call a table called uh, AB category, which is uh, address book category. And we have a primary key and a category name. The created date updated. And we use a very simple uh, database uh, type on this. Time without time zone. So all these few are required, and the category category name should be a unique key, and the ID should be primary key. And the next one is uh, the addresses. So we have ID, and we will have uh, address where you require the full name an email address. Maybe you put a home address as well. Phone. After that, which is the category ID. Same thing is a create to that. And ID and full name and email address is required a bit third. Okay, this is primary key. The name, the email address should be unique. So after we created these two database, right? as you can see, the category should link to the database as the category name and all that. So we, from here, we create a foreign key for the category ID. We 
All right, that's all from creating the database. So uh, now we'll go back to the Symfony. I created a page called a Cost Cup Demo. And uh, from this is the web folder. Obviously, you won't see anything right now because there's nothing at the file, right? So you create a new Symfony project. It's called Cost Cup Demo. So when all these files, when you run this command, right, all these files is already created. And this is all the Symfony default files. So you still can't see anything because uh, over the web folder, there's nothing inside there. There's no index file. Okay. So I will do some. Okay, this is a directory structure. You can see this is a applications. Now, when you can create the front end and back end application, I will show you later how to create on there. And it is all the library that you use for the database structures and all that. So now we are going ahead with uh, putting the database details. So I've created a database called Cost Cut Demo. This is a username and password. And we have to do it in Propel as well. We are running post place. Sorry, I have to change over here. And you can use a MySQL to do a similar thing as well. Username password. Okay. Now you have already set, uh, configured how Symfony can talk to the database. So from here, right, you can generate the, data, the database model and all the libraries. Um, if you notice here, right, from the library part, you still don't see anything because we haven't generated anything. So we go ahead with uh, creating the schema. We have a schema file over here, but it's blank. Because like in, uh, in the actual way, you have to do the schema first. And after that, use the schema, generate the schema file, and then dump the database to create a table. So I do it in the other way around for the quicker way. So we are not required for this schema file, so we can delete it. So there's no schema file over here. So run a command, propel, build, schema. Sorry. Sorry again. So um, here is uh, how you create the schema. Oh, the password is wrong. Wait, let's go back and double check. Alright, create a schema again. Okay, uh, from here you can see the, the propel is uh, actually connected to the database to create a schema file. So we come back to here, you can see the schema file is created. This is all the database structures that you're supposed to do before you create a schema file. So um, you can do, you can link everything and show everything over here. You see that like integer, which is the auto increment stuff and all that. So now we have a schema file. It's time you can build the database model. So we will go ahead with Propel build model. So the Propel build model, you build all the um, the model and the library for your database. So you see library now, you can see all the models is over here. So we see the object model. Here is the generated file and show you how to connect it to the database to query the field. And when you want to do query or selection, you can base, you will actually call this library. Okay. So now we have built the database and also the object model. We go ahead and build a page.